Welcome to NK Telco Sports. We are here at Wright State Lake Campus where the Lords University Gray Wolves take on the Wright State Lakers. Tonight's game sponsored by Hot Brass Personal Defense, Varsity Lanes, Grand Lake Skate USA, Stolly Insurance, and NKT Television bring you tonight's game between Lord University and Wright State Lake Campus. We are live and just minutes away from the opening tip off of tonight's men's basketball game between Lords and the Lakers. Lakers finishing out a brief two game homestand against Lords looking to bounce back from a 96 70 loss to Asbury earlier this week. Ron, the Lakers on the upward swing hopefully tonight. Right, they come into the game averaging 82 points a game and uh, that's gonna be a test against the Lords. They're give, Lords are giving up 60 points a game while averaging 72. The Lakers come in the game with four players in double figures. Jordan Gorman, Ryan, Jake Ryan, David Sullivan, Salman, and uh, Zacharias Milhouse is leading the Lakers with 11 point average. Lords University stands two and one overall. The Lakers one and two. There you see the visiting Lords University team will return with the opening tip off here on NK Telco Sports right after this. Brand presence is everything. Is it time to create a video that promotes your business? NK Telco has a solution with NKT Productions. NKT Productions can create a national caliber, commercial, or video specifically to your business needs and demographics. Utilize NK Telco ad insertion, and your video is made available to 6,000 plus subscribers in eight local communities on 23 major networks. Take advantage of the overwhelming traffic that video gets. Visit nktelco.net for more information. NK Telco Sports. More than 140 local high school and college games. Football, basketball, volleyball, baseball, softball, and soccer. Support your local team with NK Telco Sports and promote your business to 250,000 households in Northwest Ohio. Call 1-888-NK-TELCO and get in the game. Set for the opening tip-off as the Lakers men's team will win the tip. And they'll have the basketball first. And our second game of the night is underway. Lakers come in at one and two. And almost a turnover back up. The Lakers will have it. That's long range three and it's good. The net is. Now it's Quincy Green, I think, 6 3 sophomore from Dinwiddle, Virginia. Lords with the basketball. They're down by, down by three. Down the lane. Shot off the glass, no good. As James shot off target, or rather, Jones shot off target. Lakers back into their offense. Shot in the corner, no good. Tip back out. Long range jumper, no good. Rebound inside, and it's oh. going to be a foul against the Lakers. It's going to go against Chaz Painter. Might have been a little bit of an acting job, but he did make contact. 2-2-1 two, two, press set up by the Lakers. Jones will handle the basketball. They'll break the, the press, and there's the first basket of for the Gray Wolves. The Gray Wolves are in a zone. Looks like maybe a 2-3 matchup zone. Lakers pass inside. Quincy Green, short shot. 
Green connects. Nice job there by Chaz Painter. Got the ball outside and put it back inside. You got the easy bucket. Lords on the shot, no good. Battle for the rebound, shot up, no good. Tipped away. Painter will have it, he'll lose it, and then he's gonna be foul on the ensuing rebound as Jordan Fabry put the shot up for Lords. Painter did the hard job, he got the rebound and just brought it down too far, got it taken away from him. Quickly off the bench comes number two for the Lakers. I believe that's Jake Ryan. As Fabry will step to the line. Fabry at 6-4 just took the ball away from 6-7. Painter, as Painter brought it down low, got it taken away. Make that number, number 11. Pacino in the game for a 1-2-2 two, two full court press by Lords. Lakers into their offense, back out top of the key. There's the shot. Off the iron, no good. Rebounded by the Gray Wolves. Quickly up court. A late call there, delayed whistle. Late whistle as Malik Thurman took the ball down the lane and he drew the foul and he'll step to the free throw line. Thurman, a 6'4 senior out of Stebbins. I think it was the right call, it just happened to be a little late. Oh. We have a timeout. We'll take a, take a break here and remind you of our sponsors for tonight's game. Tonight's game between Lords University and Wright State University Lake Campus brought to you by Grand Lake Skate USA, Varsity Lanes, uh, both in St. Mary's, Hot Brass Personal Defense in Salina, and Stolly Insurance in Salina, and also by NKT TV. NK Telco Sports and its sponsors are pleased to bring you replays of men's college basketball on Channel 3 or in HD on Channel 503. Wednesday, November the 8th at 8 p.m. Thursday, November 9th at 8 p.m. You can also watch the games on demand at nktelco.net. Lords will have the basketball. We're tied at 5-5 on the Grand L Lake Skate USA scoreboard. Jones with the shot. Lakers, Rather, Thurman with the shot, and he'll connect. The Lakers were unable to get that rebound, a kind of a mid-length rebound, unable to get it, and the, and the Gray Wolves turn it into three points. Huff with the basketball. He's number five. Huff and Gorman in the backcourt is drive to the basket, no good. Green with it, inside to Gorman, he'll draw the foul. That time he didn't get, get by, he wasn't quite set by the time he just fell over backwards. Nick Passino will step to the line. Pacino comes in the game, 60% free throw shooter, 6'9 freshman from Cherumba's, what? Cherubusco. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> Indiana. I got that. <laughs> Second free throw is good. That's from my days at WoWo. -Wo. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, th I thought you were cheating, but I didn't know how. <laughs> Turnover, up court quickly, here come the Lakers. Gorman with a basket. Nice job by the Lakers, pushing the ball up the floor. We're tied at 8-8. Eight, eight. 
Another deflection. Boy, we're seeing we're seeing some pressure now, Dave. Up and down the floor. Full court. David Swillam, number four, tipped it out of bounds. There's not enough room on this court. Lords gets it inbounds. Kadem Jones. He's number zero. Thurman, he'll work on it. Left-handed shot, and Malik Thurman with a bucket. Nothing you can do about that. It's good defense by the Lakers. Just better offense. Two-point lead for Lords. Ryan. Step, step on the baseline, I guess. Make that Gordon. Gorman, rather. Nice diagonal pass there by the Gray Wolves. Snow will handle it. Cliff Snow with the basketball. He'll go to the right side. On him is Swillam. Loose basketball is picked up and to the hoop. Hamish Albert. Abbott with the basket, and it's going to count. And what the Lakers are trying to do there with that 2 2 1 press is force the dribbler to the outside. And then the guy in the second row is going to come up and set the trap. And the guy in the back is supposed to come up and intercept the pass then. And the uh, guy on the opposite side in the second row protects the basket. They did a good job that time. Uh, the Gray Wolves did a better job of throwing the ball diagonally against the press. Green loses the basketball. Abbott will pick it up. If our illustrator would work, I'd show you that. <laughs> you would. <laughs> I was going to say <laughs> Abbott's from Australia, too. We got yeah. Melbourne, Australia. From down under. Down under. Yeah, you. I wonder if he's got a up and under move. I don't know. I don't know that, but that Thur Thur uh, Thurman's got one. Yeah. <laughs> There's Abbott. He's our Australian. Off the glass, nice move. And He's on the scoreboard, and it's 14 to 8. Now we're going to get a delay of game warning there. They need to leave the ball alone after it goes through the net. Next one's a technical. Yep. So we'll get that out of the way already with 15.27 left in the first half. Green will. Toss it in to Gorman. Jordan Gorman out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, brings it up. The Lakers look inside. The passing intended there for Fasano. Snow back to Abbott. There's a reach in. Got to move your feet, get in front. That time he caught, got caught reaching. It'll go against Gorman. It's his first. Approaching the 15 minute mark. Snow with the three pointer, no good. Oh. Swollen with a rebound, but he loses it. Picks it back up. He's got it now. Here comes Gorman. Over to Green. Green going inside off the glass. Okay, a nice take there by Green. Make well, that that, number that was Millhouse. 21. Yeah. Zacharias Millhouse with the basket. He's number 21. Green's number 24. Millhouse is These a white six. on white jerseys. Yeah. They're a little tough for me. Very much so. It's a 6 3 freshman from Anderson, Indiana. Free throw around and out. Thurman. Nice so defense. Shot no good. Rebound. Pacino, nice defense. Inside the Pacino, but there'll be a sub off the Laker bunch bench. That'll be number four. David Swillam, 6'3 freshman, Chicago, Illinois. Comes in, he averages 10 points a game. He's one of the four players in double figures for the Lakers. 
Abbott with it. Oh, nice pass Back there. Back over to Turner. It'll be knocked out of bounds. Hamish Abbott, number 32, with a nice bounce pass. He's the Australian. Lakers in a man-to-man. -man. On the baseline. That's a Thurman and charge. Be a charge. Malik Thurman, 6'4", senior, is going to be called with a charge. And number 14. Who took that charge, Dave? Was that Pacino? I believe so, yep. Oh, he, he's had some nice defense. Number 11 did. Nice yep. defense down there for the Lakers. Lakers in their offense. They trail by four, 13.50 to go. But Jordan Gorman has something to say about that. Three-point goal, and it's a one-point game. He leads the Lakers in scoring with 14 points a game. Jones gets it across the timeline, and he's fouled. And the foul's going to be the sixth one against the Lakers here. As we're at the 13-38 mark. And Gorman, not only does he lead the, lead the Lakers with 14 points a game, he also averages 5.3 assists a game. Outside jump shot from three. Oh. Taken there by McComb, no good. Short jumper inside by Bond. It's off target as well. Quickly up court. Number 21, Zacharias Milhouse. And the, he'll go to the line. Might have been just a little bit out of control. The only thing I could see, it looked like the defender was moving also. There it is. There's a turnover. Let's see if the Lakers can take advantage of this. Take the lead here. There's a pass inside. <laughs> Number 11, Pacino. Nick Pacino with the, with the basket. That puts the Lakers into a one-point lead, 15-14, on the Grand Lake Skate USA scoreboard. Inside. Working hard. Nice move inside Stewart there. Stewart with the basket. By Stewart. 6'5", 230 pounds. He's a big guy. With the bucket and... The Gray Wolves are back up on top by a point. From the corner. He got fouled. That was a fine acting job. And that's what you do. <laughs> acting or not, that's not what you want to do on a jump shooter on a three-point shot is the fouling. But not to say he did, but he got called for it. That'll put uh, the Lakers at the line, a chance to tie it up and a chance to take the lead. That's number two, Jake Ryan at the line. Lakers, good foul shooting team, 72% as a team. Second free throw around and out, so this one will go for the tie. Ryan came in the game five for five from the free throw line, and right now he's got a chance for the hat trick. And he gets it, unfortunately for him. Benson with a rebound. He's number 32 for Lords. Another good defensive play by Pacino. He's making his presence felt down there on the defensive end. Going to turn it over. Sixteen to fifteen, twelve oh one to go. Tatum Jones with it. 
Isaac Clay is now in the ball game for the Lakers. He's a 5'9 freshman from Newport News, Virginia. Abbott with the basketball. Back over to Jones inside. Shot's going to roll home to Xavier Cheek with the bucket. And that time he had pos possession, or, uh, position on Pacino. Number 12, I, as you said, Isaac Clay, number 12 in the lineup. Move inside. Oh, a nice move. Might have got away with a little bit of hook with the left arm, but you, you do that until they call it. Pacino pulls the Lakers to within one point. McComb for three. Shot doesn't go. Lakers on the return. Clay with the basketball. Millhouse back to Ryan, no good. Rebound, shot no good. Tip, McC rather. Abbott with a rebound. Here comes Lourdes. Lots of contact, no foul. Loose basketball. McComb will have it. He'll bring it out front to Abbott. And they'll set it back up. Once again, Lakers get a rebound, but they don't take care of the basketball. Jones inside. Cheek shot, no good the first time. He gets it the second time. And the buzzer sounds. And that basket was by Xavier Cheek, a 6'9", 225-pound freshman from Mentor. Not sure what the confusion is. 20 to 17 is our score, a three-point lead for Lourdes. We're gonna have a timeout while the officials discuss something. Not sure what it is, but we'll uh, remind you that tonight's game is brought to you by Grand Lakes Skate USA in St. Mary's, Hot Brass Personal Defense in Salina, Varsity Lanes in St. Mary's, and Stolly Insurance also in Salina, and NKT TV bringing you tonight's game between Lord's University and Wright State University Lake Campus. Okay, we're gonna have a technical foul shot. The only thing I can think of is, uh, could that have been another delay of game? Oh, knocking the basket yeah. ball away there. But the buzzer sounded though, that's what's weird. Why would the... Yeah. I, th I think maybe uh, they knew that was the second one at the score table, so they blew oh, the buzzer that could be. to yeah. uh, remind the officials that that was the second one. So The Lakers but, having some problems at the free throw line. That's four in a row they've missed. They hit all four. They'd be enjoying a one-point lead, but they do get the basketball. So the Gray Wolves are in that... 3-2 matchup zone. Huff number five back into the lineup. He gets the pass inside and back out is Huff. Over to Clay and All right. Isaac Clay with the shot. That's one of the first times we've seen the Lakers actually run their Offense, take their time that time. They got a nice open shot top of the key and Clay drained it. Double team oh. there and they find the open man and that's Bryce McComb out of Swanton. Yeah, no, nobody on the weak side defensively give up the layup. So the referees now are trying to Clean up the contact underneath a little bit. Substitutes for the Lakers. Number 20, Purcell Mallory comes in. Handle the basketball. Clay with it. Lakers. Trying to run the offense, that's hot. Oh, nice look. Open and with the jam. And he flushed that down. 
That's number 20, Purcell Mallory. 6'6", freshman, Washington, D.C. We are tied 22 all. 9.19 to go on the Grand Lake Skate USA scoreboard. Frazier with it. Going all the way, and he's going to draw the foul. <laughs> That's pretty good to watch it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we got to pull back and see, look at my monitor, see if everybody can take a look at it again. So Frazier will go to line, Desmond Frazier out of Pala. Florida. Coach Westerland, he, he was trying to point out maybe uh, where somebody should have been, and he's <laughs> up and down the sideline. It was pretty good. Yep. Clay with a basketball. He's at the top of the key. Looking at that zone defense. Mm -hmm. Lakers settle into the offense to run against it. Jones with it. Basically running a pass and cut offense against it. Back over to Clay. He's going to take the three. And that went off the pole. Hit the shot clock. Edge of the rim and bounded high. Clay nice with a steal. steal. Back to his teammate. And they convert and take the lead as Quincy Green scores the bucket. Nice play there by Clay. Looking for the cut, and he stayed on. The Lakers' 2-2-1 two, two, press seems to have caused the Gray Wolves some problems. Lakers get a two-point lead. A lot of times in a 2-2-1 two, two, press, you're, the other team is going to make the mistake, and that's exactly what's happening. Lakers look... Very comfortable running their offense against this zone defense. Outside shot, no good by oh. Jones and the rebound slam doesn't go. The Gray Wolves are having trouble boxing out in that zone. There's the double team, got a timeout. get the timeout, so 7.53 to go in this one. And uh, I'd like to remind you that tonight's game is brought to you by Grand Lake Skate at USA in St. Mary's Hot Brass Personal Defense in Salina, Varsity Lanes in St. Mary's and Stalling Insurance in Salina, and NKT TV all bring you tonight's game. NK Telco Sports and its sponsors are pleased to bring you replays of men's college basketball on Channel 3 or in HD on Channel 503, Wednesday, November the 8th at 8 p.m. and Thursday, November 9th at 8 p.m. You can also watch the games on demand at nktelco.net. Lords takes the timeout to avoid the turnover. Two-point lead for Wright State University Lake Campus. As Lourdes goes into their offense, there's the move to the basket, no good. Shot rebound there by Abbott. Ball is on the floor, but we're gonna have a whistle and a foul. Miscommunication a little bit on that pick and roll out by the three-point line for the Lakers. Gave Gray Wolves a nice open shot, so you're gonna have to correct that know how they're going to play against it because I'm sure they're going to see it again. Quincy Green, number 24, the sophomore. For the Lakers being looked at. 7.34 to go here in the first half of basketball. Lakers with a 24 to 22 lead. And 
while we've got a lull in the action, we'll take a break as well. Once again, our score, Wright State University Lake Campus 24, Lords 22. We'll be back right after this. Jump, jump. Uh, what? Oh, come on. Surgery is very expensive today, Coach. Jet! Jet? Come on, turn. Need more bandwidth? Switch to NK Telco and run all your devices. Back here on the campus of Wright State University Lake Campus. We're about to resume basketball. Lakers up by two. Quincy Green suffered a injury and creating the uh, stoppage in play and we're set to go again. Not really sure what happened. One big thing right now and so far in this game, uh, free throws. Lakers are one of seven from the free throw line. The Gray Wolves are two of five. There's a turner over the inbounds pass by Huff. Jump ball and oh, it's going to be a foul. It's going to send number 13, Vasquez, Evan Vasquez, to the line. Connects on the free throw. The other thing is, Lakers have 10 turnovers, and that compares to. Gray Wolves only with five. Big difference as Vasquez. So turnovers and foul shooting. Vasquez hits the second. We're tied again at 24 all as the Lakers move it across the timeline. Isaac Clay will handle it. Pass on the baseline, and Vasquez is going to be guilty of the foul. As that, that play there was called from the bench during that uh, injury timeout. You could tell they, they faked the ball from the top to the left wing. That drew the defense over, and uh, Ozin? Ozin. Ozin came from the right baseline to the basket, and just a lob to him. Azim will step to the line. Freshman out of Houston, Texas. High ball game as the scoreboard says, 24 all. Second free throw is good and our right state Lake Campus has a one point lead. Jones, back over to Vasquez, Jones with it. There's the steal. Hang on to your hats, folks. Oh, they're gonna get a foul. Nice defensive play there by Millhouse. Jump the pass. Got in the passing lane, off to the races. Zacharias Milhouse out of Anderson, Indiana. Let's take a look at that one again. Nice steal, and I was hoping for the slam, but. Yeah, he was kind of getting his timing down, his footwork, and <laughs> that slowed him down a little bit. Yep. He got caught. Milhouse connects on the free throw. Second one off target, but the rebound comes down to Huff. Play, top of the key. Huff with it. Play will shoot the three and he'll connect. They're not gonna count the basket.
Tell you, when that whistle blew, he was up in the air with the basketball, but did not count it. 26-24. Lakers trying to get the trap. Stepped out of bounds. Another nice job by the Lakers defense. Set the trap, got the turnover. Clay will bring it slowly across the timeline. Six and a half to go here in the first half of play. Pace has slowed down considerably since the opening minutes of the game. Millhouse looks inside. Back over to Clay, shoots it in and out. And on the rebound. It's gonna go against Ozine, number 23. It's gonna send McRae White a 6'6 freshman from Cleveland to the line. 37% free throw shooter. Free throw a little bit long. Oh no, his shot doesn't look like a 37% free throw shooter. He had a nice spin on the ball. Second toss around it out. Lakers attacking it with a short corner against this 3-2 matchup. Now they flash a guy to the high post. Millhouse back over to the side and the shot is good as that's Jordan Gorman. Yeah, they got Gorman and Clay out there together now. Gorman hits the big three and it's a five point difference. Lakers with the lead. Inside, they go for the jam, but they draw the foul instead. There are just too many guys over there on the right side of the floor for the Lakers, and that left the basket open. McRae White steps to the line. 6'6 six, six freshman. Maybe he is a 37% shooter. He's proven it. He's proven it. Well, he's actually proven it a little less. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. 29 to 25. Lakers, Gorman and Clay in the backcourt looking at the zone defense. 1-2-2 One, two, two press. They get it across the line with a little bit of patience. And the mill house with the balls loose and Calling out a set play. Vasquez with it, and now back over to Beal, just into the lineup. He's going to go to the hoop and hand off to number 25, McRae White. And White jams at home, and we're got a two-point game. Nice job there by Devin Beal. Penetrating, drew the defender to him, and then dished it off for the easy basket. Tyrone Alzine, number 23, handling the basketball. Shot no good. That's Gorman, but the rebound will come down to White. Vasquez across the timeline. Abbott with it. White, top of the key as they patiently move the basketball. Vasquez shot no good. White with a rebound. Doesn't go, battle for it. And it comes down to Azim. From the corners, Clay shot no good, and White gets the rebound. Four minutes to go here in the first half. Got the nice shot there. Got the ball to the corner. Just couldn't complete the shot. 
White has it, top of the key over to Abbott. Abbott looks inside to White. About travel. a couple of steps, I hope. <laughs> Lakers with a two-point lead, 3.44 to go. And the Lakers will take a timeout. We'll take a timeout as well. Our score, Wright State University Lake Campus 29, Lords 27. We'll be back right after this. Trust us. NK Telco, a small town company with a big focus on customer service. We build business the old fashioned way. Trust us to be your internet provider. Trust us to help you find the right cable package for your viewing needs. Trust us to answer your questions any time of the day. Trust NK Telco to be on call. Deliver and make sure your service is tailored to meet your needs. We serve commercial and residential customers to meet their communication needs. Trust us at NK Telco. Trust us! The Lakers take the timeout. They have a two point lead and a big possession here for them with 3.38 to go. First half of basketball. The Auglaze. Mercer County Family Y on the campus of Wright State University's Lake Campus. Gorman, short jumper, no good. And the rebound comes down to Fabry. Yeah, the last few possessions, the Lakers aren't getting the inside shot against that zone. There's, somebody's gonna have to penetrate, dribble penetrate, or dribble. McCombs shot no good, and it's going to go off of the Lakers. So, thought for a moment it went off of Fabry. Jones back into the lineup for Lourdes. Handles the basketball out front against Gorman. He'll go to the right side. Cut to the basket and Frazier, and he'll stay down low. He'll set it back up. Shot clock's at 10 seconds. Lakers get the turnover. Azim. Shot doesn't fall. Rebound to Cheek. So they come up with a steal, but they can't convert the layup. Cheek with the basketball, looks inside, tipped away. Beal will handle it and make the short jumper, and he connects. Devon Beal out of Whitmer with the shot. Coming in the game, averaging four points a game. Azim. In the lineup. Palacios, long range shot no good. The Lakers have gone Millhouse. cold from the outside. We're tied at 29 and Lords has a chance to take the lead here with a minute 30 or so to go. Cheek with a basketball. I'm an open post offense. That time they come up and set a high screen for the big guy. There's Cheek with the easy rebound. <laughs> They'll take it for a moment. I thought they might call goaltending. All right. So the Gray Wolves have taken the lead here. Pass inside, and they've got a whistle. That's what they need to do, get the ball to the baseline in the corner, and then the, a guy needs to flash to the lane. It's hard for the Gray Wolves to cover the lane when the bottom guy in that 3-2 goes out to the corner. Tyrone Isaiah will step to the line. Free throws a little bit short. 
Lakers get the rebound. Gorman. Foul shooting, definitely hurting the Lakers. Under a minute to play. Shot way off target there. Vasquez with it. Shot clock at 25. There's 40 plus seconds to go here. Beal will get it to Cheek. Cheek over to Vasquez. Handling the ball outside, down the lane. Beal with the shot, no. It, oh boy. It drops home and that's a three. 34-29. Boy, I didn't think that one had a prayer of that. Yeah, that was a brick and it just got caught against the backboard. Gorman tipped away. All the way for the layup. That's Vasquez and it's a seven point swing here. And Lords will go into the halftime locker room with a seven point lead thanks to a strong finish to the half. Our score, Lords University 36, Wright State University Lake Campus 29. We'll be back right after this. Brand presence is everything. Is it time to create a video that promotes your business? NK Telco has a solution with NKT Productions. NKT Productions can create a national caliber, commercial, or video specifically to your business needs and demographics. Utilize NK Telco ad insertion, and your video is made available to 6,000 plus subscribers in eight local communities on 23 major networks. Take advantage of the overwhelming traffic that video gets. Visit nktelco.net for more information. NK Telco Sports. More than 140 local high school and college games. Football, basketball, volleyball, baseball, softball, and soccer. Support your local team with NK Telco Sports and promote your business to 250,000 households in Northwest Ohio. Call 1 888 NK Telco and get in the game. Jump, jump. Uh, what? Oh, come on! Set! Plastic surgery is very expensive today, Coach. Jet! Jet? Come on, two. Need more bandwidth? Switch to NK Telco and run all your devices. Lords University had quite a rally there in the last minute and a half or so to take a seven point halftime lead over Wright State University Lake Campus, 36-29. Taking a look at those first half numbers and boy, in the last couple minutes of that first half, shifted the entire game around. Yeah, it really turned around. Gray Wolves, 14 of 32 from the field. Lakers, 11 of 28 from the three point line. Lakers, four of 14, three of eight for the Gray Wolves, 5-11 from the free throw line, and the Lakers were 3-12. Rebounding-wise, pretty even. 20 for the Gray Wolves, 21 for the Lakers. Turnovers, Lakers 13, uh, 9 Gray Wolves. So the big thing there is somebody's got to get hot from the three-point line, and uh, they could probably turn this thing around with the Gray Wolves uh, playing that zone. Uh, you would think they could get some shots from the corners against that. Gray Wolves will have the basketball first as, as uh, Thuman, Thuman goes in and hits the bucket and it's now a nine point lead. Malik Thuman, 6'4", senior, and he gets the first basket and let's see now the whistle is here and that's gonna go against Thuman. So that'll go against well, they're showing Fabry. That's not who that was against. Unless it was well away from the ball. Let's see what the Lakers can do. They're down by nine points. They need a bucket here. And the Gray Wolves stay in the same defense that they played the whole first half. And Painter's jumper goes in and out. Painter was on the bench because he picked up two quick fouls in the first half. Maybe he could give them an inside presence. Shot from three, and it's good. 
Right away, 11 point lead for the Gray Wolves. And Quincy Green comes up with a three pointer. Green will counter with a three and that makes it an eight point difference. Come in the game two of three from the three point line. So maybe that'll be a plus for the Lakers and they can get him open. 40 to 32, Jones with the basketball. Abbott will stand at center court. Painter on him. Takes it to the hoop and a whistle and a foul. Yeah, we talked about Painter picking up those early two fouls and out of the game. Uh, Nick Pacino came in for him and did a, a really nice job defensively anyway. And it looks like he's at the scorer's table now. Foul on Mallory. And that's his fourth foul. So Pacino's gonna come in and replace him. So you got Pacino and Painter in the game at the same time. That's the first time we've seen that tonight. Abbott's second free throw is good. And it's 42 to 32. Abbott's got six points so far tonight. Gorman. Inside the Painter. Oh, yeah. That's a nice move. That if they get that there, get Painter on the block, they got something going. Painter gets the bucket, and it's a 42-34. Jones. Lakers working hard on defense. Quincy Green, number 24, out front there with the headband. Lords will pull it back up. This is Abbott. He goes right side. Got to be a whistle. A little bit too tight there, Jalen Huff. Huff with the foul, a 6'5 sophomore. Riviera Beach, Florida. That might be some place we could go in a month <laughs> or so. <laughs> Sounds like a nice idea. It sure does. Jones will get the pass and take the three-pointer, but it goes around and out. Huff with a rebound. Lakers up court quickly. Long range. There we go. That's Quincy Green. Green, number 24. Connects. So that's a five point difference. Lakers with the turnover. Long range jumper, no good. And quickly up court. McComb will have it. Back over to number 11, and that's Cliff Snow. And he connects. We got a Got a timeout, we'll keep it right here and remind you. That tonight's game is brought to you by Grand Lake Skate USA in St. Mary's, Hot Brass Personal Defense in Salina, Varsity Lanes in St. Mary's, Stolly Insurance in Salina, and NKT TV bringing you tonight's game between Wright State University Lake Campus and Lourdes University. I'd like to remind you that NK Telco Sports and its sponsors are pleased to bring you replays of men's college basketball on Channel 3 or in HD on Channel 503, Wednesday, November the 8th at 8 p.m., Thursday, November the 9th at 8 p.m. And you can also watch the games on demand at nktelco.net. So the Lakers make some progress and then a big three-pointer by Snow. Kind of forces uh, them to call a timeout, Ron. Right, they, Quincy Green's three cut it down to five, and then they give up a, a three right there. Just one pass and up, so they're gonna have to pick these guys up now. It seems to be uh, shooting the three a little bit better, both teams, so that could be a plus. And then we also have Painter doing a good job on the inside for the Lakers. Lakers work against the press. Oh. 
Huff back over to Gorman. Gorman will take the open three and he'll get oh. fouled. Chance for a four point play. Gorman. Took the pass from Huff and connected. Foul is going to be on Jones. That's yeah. his third. Gorman coming in the game seven for seven from the free throw line. So he put that one in. 45-41. Lakers cut this lead in half with that four-point play. And ten seconds, and boy, that... Makes Coach Westerland and yeah. the bench happy over there. Yeah, the Lakers, they're shifting in that press very nicely. Cutting off some passing lanes, causing the 10 second turnover. Let's see if the Lakers can cut further into it. Number five is Huff. Work it around. There's Jones, shot no good. Probably not the shot you want runner. right there. A little far out. But he tipped out of bounds. Of course, Green had hit the one before, so. Yeah, a little bit of a heat check there, but you would just like for him to be maybe about five feet closer. Lords with the four-point lead in the basketball. Thurman. Going to draw the foul with a strong move. Mark Thurman, or Malik Thurman. Good strong move to the basket. And he'll go to the free throw line. 58% free throw shooter so far this season. Misses the first. So that's the third foul on uh, Nick Pacino. That's a big foul because he, he's doing a terrific job defensively. A couple steals already here in the second half. Big defensive presence on the inside for the Lakers. Malik Thurner out of Stebbins and Dayton. It's the second. Five point difference. That's it. You never want to cross that half court line until you got some place to go with the, the basketball. Nice job there by the Lakers. Huff with the basketball back over to the right side. In the corner is Green. Turn around, off balance shot, no good. The painter somehow comes up with a rebound. His missed shot pulled down by Snow. Short jumper off the glass, no good. And Huff will grab that rebound. He'll bring it up court. Back over to Gorman. Lakers. Work in the perimeter, look inside to Painter. Back over to the right side, Green. Tosses it to Gorman. Gorman works the baseline. Painter can't handle it. Back out to Huff, he thinks about it. And gonna call a travel. Shuffled his feet. Turnover by the Lakers. Just a case where he got too much in a hurry. He didn't really have a defender to beat there. So he could have just taken his time, but. Five point difference in this one. James with the basketball. They're in an open post type offense, setting the screens on, on top, cutting to the basket. Gonna be a foul down low as the pass went to Snow and not much contact there. He said he's pushing him with his hands. Well, I don't know. Tough call there for the Lakers. That'll be their fourth of the half. 
Open for the jumper, no good as Snow shot off target. Gorman up quickly. Pass blocked and boy, the Lakers could use a score on one of these last couple of possessions, but now they've got to play defense. Yeah, the last few possessions, they haven't gotten a very good look or they've turned it over. Here should be a layup. Again, they try to throw over the top. Gorman. He'll handle it out front. Got it to the baseline, now back out and around. Long range, three, shot no good. Boy, it's just tough when there's four, uh, yeah. four Lords University players underneath that basket and only Painter on the boards. Uh, you can get that, you know, 28 footer anytime you want, I think. <laughs> it's been open. <laughs> nice little dump pass to McRae White, who's back into the game. White had a pretty good first half for Lords. Checking for blood, maybe, on Thurman. White had five rebounds so far tonight. A couple of subs off the Lakers bench. Number 21, Zacharias Milhouse comes back in, and number 23, Tyrone Azin, also in. So Painter gave the Lakers some pretty good minutes there. Uh, presence on the inside on the offensive end. Gorman over to Ozen. Looks inside where Green is. It's gonna be a long jumper from outside by Ryan. So the Lakers last few possessions settling on long three point shots. Inside is Thurman, shot no good. And basketball comes back out front. Frazier will have it in the lane. He'll try to pass it off to Thurman, but it's gonna go out of bounds. You see Ryan. Swillam is in the lineup now for the Lakers. Inbound pass, off balance shot, and it's going to roll home. Number That's a 11. Sec second one we've seen snow. like that. Yeah. You know, it's dead it's a, hit and it yeah, rolls in. It's a brick and it just goes up there and dies and falls in the hole. Gorman. Lakers just simply can't quite get that big basket when they need it. There's the turnaround. Shot by Green, no good. Shot back up, no good, but Lords will clear the boards. Well, that's all right. They got, that was two nice, good-looking shots in there. Just didn't go in. To me, it, it, that's a lot better than taking that 25, 26-footer out there. Say Jones is going to go out. Evan Vasquez will come in. He's number 13. He'll take the inbounds pass. Vasquez handling the basketball, takes it to the hoop. Tries to dump it off to Turner, and it got to Turner, but in a different way. Yeah. White cleans up the garbage off or the rather floor. White. McCray White with that basket. Sorry. Yeah. Baseline, they get it back out, and shot doesn't wow. go. And Lakers that's can't buy up. a bucket right now. Foul coming up court. All sorts of discussions going along on the sidelines yeah. there. Coach Westerland trying to explain to the official what he saw. 
And the officials give him a chance, so he's listening. Yeah. But but he's shooting over here. Thurman is shooting a bomb <laughs> shot. <laughs> so. That's right. Thurman's doing the shooting. So are we going to get on with it or? There we go. First free throw is good, and now suddenly, well, not so suddenly, but gradually, I guess I should say, it's now a 10-point lead for the Gray Wolves. And they're in the one and one already with 11.33 left. Second shot no good, Green with a rebound. Gorman will bring it up court. Over to Green. Lakers got an official timeout. to sort things out here. Uh, looking for blood again, I think. And Somebody's one of the trainers there. I see walking over to the uh, Lord's bench. So on that note, we'll take a break. Our score, Lord's University 51, Wright State University Lake Campus 41. We'll return right after this. <laughs> K Telco Sports. More than 140 local high school and college games. Football, basketball, volleyball, baseball, softball, and soccer. Support your local team with NK Telco Sports and promote your business to 250,000 households in Northwest Ohio. Call 1 888 NK Telco and get in the game. Wright State University Lake Campus. They got a foul. That'll go against Lords and Lakers in foul trouble with seven of them already. They've got the basketball and they're down by 10. They need some offense, Ron. They just simply yeah. can't get going. Like, you know, that's not the shot you want either. There's a good one. Uh, they're passing the ball around the outside. They're settling for outside shots. Uh, no inside presence at all without uh, Painter in there or Pacino. I'm not sure how much longer you can keep those guys out. Yeah, Painter, he's 6'7", 220. And pretty good presence in there. There's Green. And there'll be a whistle and a foul. That was Gordon. Foul that so, time on Vasquez, his second personal. So the good news is there, Gorman, good free throw shooter. You don't let me down now. You kind of thought when Gorman hit the four-point play earlier in the half that maybe the Lakers were going to get a good run, but both teams have kind of gone stagnant since that point. 51-43, eight-point difference. That's tough. There's, and there's the Thurman answer to that. Knocks it home. That's the difference right now. You know, they're getting those kind of shots, and the Lakers are getting contested shots. Malik Thurman's now got 11 points. There's Green's outside shot, no good. Short bunny inside, no good. Is and see, that ball again was kept alive there by Pacino. Green puts it off the glass, no good. They just want to take the lid off of it. <laughs> just not going to go as Green puts up another rebound shot. And Coach Westerlin says, I think we need a timeout. Well, nope, no. Nope. Thought for a moment he was going to call a timeout, but obviously he can't now with Lords with the basketball. 
Vasquez with a three. He's There's a little a bit layup. short. Layup, and it doesn't wow. go. Boy, they're, they're stuck at 43, that's for sure, and there'll be a foul that time. Looks like it might go against Beal. Yeah, I thought maybe after the foul shots by Gorman, you know, you see a ball go through the hole once in a while. That helps everybody, but it hasn't helped the Lakers. Beal does go to the line as the fouls against Pacino, and that's his fourth. So he connects on the first free throw, and that makes it an 11-point difference. Second free throw falls home. Inbounds pass. The Lakers work it up court. Green. Back over to Swillam. Gorman will set it up. Back over to Swillam again. He looks inside for Green. Swillam. Takes the long three, shot no good, and a rebound comes down to Lourdes. That one hurt. That, that one hurt. Puts the lead up to 15 points with 8.45 to go. Lakers stuck on 43. Oh, they missed the back side cut there. Long range jumper again, no tip, no good. Rebound, comes down to Lourdes. That's Vasquez with a basketball. Gorman on him. Vasquez on the baseline. He'll lose the basketball. Nice help there by Swillam to cut the penetration off. Gorman handles the basketball. He'll take the short jumper. Hey. Shot will finally get a roll for the Lakers. It does go in there. 58-45. McCombs shot no good and they're going to call traveling on that. You see number 11, Nick Bassano. So he goes out of the game. And Painter comes in to replace him. So let's see if we can get him ball inside a little bit. Nice out of bounds play there by the Gray Wolves. Cleared the basket area out. And the cutter come off a screen. That was number 31, Jordan Fabry. Fabry will go to the line. <laughs> Fabry's first. No good. Came in the game four out of four from the foul line. And there went his perfect season from the line. Second one's good. They're 12 out of 23. Just a little bit better than 50% at the line. As a team, they came in the game with 65%. Comes Painter trying to take the pass. with Painter at the line. He's a 62% free throw shooter. Shot just a little bit strong. Chaz Painters, seven freshman, Columbus, Indiana.
Second free throw, no good. Lords will have the rebound, they'll lose it. Painter ends up with it. Loose basketball, still scrambling, and Lords will finally pick it up. Vasquez over to McComb. McComb, top of the key. Painter's on him. He'll take the three and connect. Yeah, that's not what you wanted. Painter guarding him out front. Bryce McComb with a big three, and it's a 17-point difference. Gorman will fire up a three, and he'll connect. Timeout. Lakers, they'll take the timeout. It's a full timeout. Our score, Lords University 62, Wright State University Lake Campus 48. We'll be back right after this. Jump, jump. Uh, what? Oh, come on. Set. Plastic surgery is very expensive today, Coach. Jet! Jet! Come on, shoot him, shoot him. Need more bandwidth? Switch to NK Telco and run all your devices. Trust us! NK Telco, a small town company with a big focus on customer service. We build business the old fashioned way. Trust us to be your internet provider. Trust us to help you find the right cable package for your viewing needs. Trust us to answer your questions any time of the day. Trust NK Telco to be on call. Deliver and make sure your service is tailored to meet your needs. We serve commercial and residential customers to meet their communication needs. Trust us at NK Telco. Trust us! The Lakers take a timeout. They're down by 14 with 6.34 to go. Trying to apply some pressure against Lourdes, but McComb, who hit the big three, a little bit short on that jump shot. Lakers down court quickly. Looking inside, there's Green. Huff back over to the right side, and Gorman shot a little bit strong. It'll bound off to the right, rebound. And it looks like Jones is back in the lineup, who is Lord's leading scorer. And the thing of it is that, you know, the, the Lakers, they were getting some turnovers with their press, but you can't press when the ball doesn't go in the hole. <laughs> you know, there has to be a dead ball there for them to set it up. And that's really hurt the Lakers because they're, they're shooting. Uh, they just haven't been able to put it in the hole here in the second half. Jones connects on the free throw. But if they could make a couple of baskets, you know, maybe they could get some turnovers with the press. And that seemed to bring them into the ball game when they got it down to five points. Painter gets the Basketball from Azim. There they had a mismatch. They have Thurman listed as 6'4. When he was standing up against Painter, it looked more than a three point or a three inch difference. Painter connects on the free throw. 6'7 freshman. Second free throw rattles out. Snow with a rebound as Jones brings it up court and they break the press. Jones will dish it off, but it's going to go out of bounds. That's a Lord's turnover. See there, they, you know, they had time to set up their press, and it turns out they get the get a turnover. But again, they have to make some buckets in order to come back. Gorman 
Looks inside of Painter. Back over to Green. Huff. Cross court, Huff, he tries to move inside the lane. There's the jump shot, and Gorman connects. That makes it 63-52 with 5.16 to play. I'd like to remind you that our sponsors for tonight's game are Grand Lake Skate USA in St. Mary's, Hot Brass Personal Defense in Salina, Varsity Lanes in St. Mary's, Stolly Insurance in Salina and NKT Productions bringing you tonight's game between Wright State University Lake Campus and Lords University. NK Telco Sports and its sponsors are pleased to bring you replays of men's college basketball on Channel 3 or in HD on Channel 503 Wednesday, November the 8th at 8 p.m. and Thursday, November the 9th at 8 p.m. You can also watch games on demand at NK Telco. Net. Lakers take the timeout, just trying to set the extra pressure up against Lords and cut further into this lead, which stands 63 to 52. Right, they need a turnover right now, and that potentially could cut it down to single digits. Lords gets it in. Almost a turnover, but Thurner, the ball. Thurman comes up with it, and puts yeah. it up and in. The ball bounced their way that time. The, Lake, the Lakers come out and trapped in a half court set that time. They get the tip, not sure who will get the basket that time. 65 54. They'll settle into their offense now. So when the ball goes to the wing, the Lakers are trapping. Snow will go to the line as he's fouled. It looks like a, what is called a thumbs up situation. Meaning when the ball goes to the wing, there's a trap set and then they rotate over expecting them to throw the pass back out front, and that's the one they want to pick off if they can. They want to deny the, the pass to the elbow and to the corner. Passino got the tip as Snow hits both free throws. And the Lakers lose the basketball. So 67-54, our Grand Lake Skate USA scoreboard here in the second half with 4.14 to go in this game. Thurman, he'll draw the foul. Wright State with 10 team fouls, so. so. Thurman was able to split the trap there and draw a foul. Connects on the free throw. 58% free throw shooter. He's got 14 points on the night. Make it 15. 69-54, 15 point differences. Gordon gets it up to Painter. Back over to Huff, Huff inside the circle. Shot no good and rebound comes down to Snow. Lakers in and just a straight man to man. Yeah. 
And the Lakers got it down to 11. Now it's back up to 15. Jones steps to the line. And he'll connect. Jones is out of uh, Dayton, Ohio as well. 80% free throw shooter. Seventy-one fifty-four, and with three and a half to go, Lords pretty well establishing themselves after the last run the Lakers tried to put up. Basket there by number eleven, Nick Passino. Vasquez gets it up to Snow. Snow back out to Vasquez. Under three minutes to play. Vasquez, he'll go to the right side. Cut off there and he'll push it back out. Three point shot, no good as Fabry shot off target. Here come the Lakers. Gordon. Inside, shot off the glass and it rolls home. And Wright State will take a timeout. We'll take a timeout as well. Our score, Lord's University 71, Wright State University, Lake Campus 58. We'll be back right after this. Brand presence is everything. Is it time to create a video that promotes your business? NK Telco has a solution with NKT Productions. NKT Productions can create a national caliber commercial or video specifically to your business needs and demographics. Utilize NK Telco ad insertion and your video is made available to 6,000 plus subscribers in eight local communities on 23 major networks. Take advantage of the overwhelming traffic that video gets. Visit nktelco.net for more information. NK Telco Sports. More than 140 local high school and college games. Football, basketball, volleyball, baseball, softball, and soccer. Support your local team with NK Telco Sports and promote your business to 250,000 households in Northwest Ohio. Call 1 888 NK Telco and get in the game. Lakers take the timeout. Down by 13, battling the clock, as well as many other factors here. There, that time they got the traps up, but nobody there to get that pass down the sideline. Vasquez, Lakers wanted to travel, but Vasquez writes himself. Lakers going to have to be up on top here. Clock is approaching two minutes on the Grand Lake skate scoreboard. Rebound shot and nice effort there. Lee jumps to 15 again. Oh. Have to put that up. There you go. Gorman with the three. 73-61. You have a gray wolf down underneath the basket. I think that's uh, Malik Thurman. Got to stop and act, stop in the action. It's 12 point difference. 155 to go, and he had some physical <laughs> plays nice there. Game. Yeah, on both ends of the yeah. floor, he a little out of control on the layup, hit the floor, and down on the defensive end. Looked like he might have twisted something. There you see the inbounds pass by Fabry. Snow will handle it. Fabry with the basketball. He'll take the three. <laughs> Not sure what that was all about. <laughs> Trying to run you the clock. I think he'd run the down. clock down yeah. a little bit there. <laughs> Here's Jones. He'll take it and almost laid it in. Back up and in. I think that was Fabry again. 
75 to 61. Green back out to Huff. Rebound is uh, White, I believe, or Thurman. Yeah, now it's going to be either White or Thurman, one yeah. of the two. They, they've it's gotten come down. most of the rebounds tonight. It's going to come down to the Gray Wolf shooting foul shots from here on out. White's got 10 rebounds, eight defensive rebounds so far as he steps to the line. Thurman goes out. And he's in that back row of that 3-2 zone. So, you know, as long as the ball goes the other side, he's there for a rebound because like the percentages say, if they miss it from the other side, 70% of the time it's going to come to his side. 16 point difference, 77 61. Gorman will bring it up. Jones on him. Gorman tries to get it inside to Painter, but there's going to be a foul on the backside. That's Cliff Snow, number 11, will, get, will be guilty of the foul. Gray White's game has come to an end. They brought him to the bench, so I would say he's done for the evening. Thurner gets the rebound, or Thurman gets the rebound. And there's the duck. We've seen a few of those, haven't we? Yes, we have. Thurman with the slam. Green will bank it in. Seventy-nine sixty-four, thirty-nine point nine seconds left. Be a foul on the inbounds play. Jones will go to the line. So they're in a double bonus. He'll shoot a couple. Gets the roll. Second one good as well. 81-64. Into the final seconds of this one. Tossing it up court. There's a steal by Huff. Huff will push it back up the other way. Gorman, he'll handle it off. The pick back in the corner. Is that Painter? I think it was. Yeah. Gets the shot, 81-67. Got blocked out of that corner view there. Vasquez is going to dribble it out. That's going to be it. Our score, Lords University 81, Wright State University, Lake Campus 67. We'll be back with our recap right after this. Today, Jet! Jet! Come on, two, two. Need more bandwidth? Switch to NK Telco and run all your devices. Trust us! NK Telco, a small town company with a big focus on customer service. We build business the old fashioned way. Trust us to be your internet provider. Trust us to help you find the right cable package for your viewing needs. Trust us to answer your questions any time of the day. Trust NK Telco to be on call. 
Deliver and make sure your service is tailored to meet your needs. We serve commercial and residential customers to meet their communication needs. Trust us at NK Telco. Trust us! Brand presence is everything. Is it time to create a video that promotes your business? NK Telco has a solution with NKT Productions. NKT Productions can create a national caliber commercial or video specifically to your business needs and demographics. Utilize NK Telco ad insertion and your video is made available to 6,000 plus subscribers in eight local communities on 23 major networks. Take advantage of the overwhelming traffic that video gets. Visit nktelco.net for more information. NK Telco Sports. More than 140 local high school and college games. Football, basketball, volleyball, baseball, softball, and soccer. Support your local team with NK Telco Sports and promote your business to 250,000 households in Northwest Ohio. Call 1 888 NK Telco and get in the game. Jump, jump. Uh, what? Oh, come on! Set! Plastic surgery is very expensive today, Coach. Jet! Jet? Come on, shoot him. Need more bandwidth? Switch to NK Telco and run all your devices. Trust us! NK Telco small town company with a big focus on customer service. We build business the old-fashioned way. Trust us to be your internet provider. Trust us to help you find the right cable package for your viewing needs. Trust us to answer your questions any time of the day. Trust NK Telco to be on call. Deliver and make sure your service is tailored to meet your needs. We serve commercial and residential customers to meet their communication needs. Trust us at NK Telco. Trust us! Brand presence is everything. Is it time to create a video that promotes your business? NK Telco has a solution with NKT Productions. NKT Productions can create a national caliber commercial or video specifically to your business needs and demographics. Utilize NK Telco ad insertion and your video is made available to 6,000 plus subscribers in eight local communities on 23 major networks. Take advantage of the overwhelming traffic that video gets. Visit nktelco.net for more information. NK Telco Sports. More than 140 local high school and college games. Football, basketball, volleyball, baseball, softball, and soccer. Support your local team with NK Telco Sports and promote your business to 250,000 households in Northwest Ohio. Call 1 888 NK Telco and get in the game. Wright State University Lake Campus. Defeated by Lords University by 14 here at the All Glaze Mercer Family Y on the Lake Campus, 81 to 67. Not much offense really for the Lakers and to the total advantage of, uh, of Lords. They simply were a lot more consistent. Take a look at the numbers, Ron. Yeah, for the Gray Wolves, they were 26 of 56 from the floor, while the Lakers were 24 of 64. From the three-point line, the Lakers 12 of 33. The Gray Wolves only took 16 threes, and they made six from the free throw line. Uh, Gray Wolves 35 times from the free throw line. 23 of them were made. The Lakers seven of 20, well below their average of 72%. Rebound-wise, uh, pretty even, 45 for the Gray Wolves, 42 for the Lakers. Turnovers also were even, 17 for the Lakers, 16 for the Gray Wolves. The Wright State Lakers were led in scoring by Jordan Gorman, who had 25 points. Quincy Green had 16 for the Lakers. For the Gray Wolves, uh, Malik Thurman led them in scoring with 17 points. So for the Lakers, they fall to one and three overall on the season, while Lords ups their record to three and one. And uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors for tonight's men's college basketball game here from Salina, Grand Lake 
Skate USA in St. Mary's, Varsity Lanes also in St. Mary's, Hot Brass Personal Defense in Salina, Stolly Insurance in Salina, and NKT Productions for bringing you tonight's game. I'd like to also remind you that NK Telco Sports and its sponsors bring you the replays of tonight's game on Channel 3 or in HD on Channel 503, Wednesday, November the 8th at 8 p.m., Thursday, November the 9th at 8 p.m., and you can also watch the games on demand at nktelco.net. Also like to thank our crew here this evening in the van, Isaac Sell on the cameras, Daniel Allen, Kirk Kuffner, Patrick Toller, and I'm Dave Helmstetter, and alongside me, Ron Caruzzi, bringing you the play-by-play -play and color of tonight's game. Once again, our final score, Lords University 81, Wright State University Lake Campus 67.